Sven Diesel here. We're just going to be tying up a uh, zonker uh, bait fish pattern here. We uh, kind of just uh, got a fully male streamer stripper in. We're going to use some nano silk 12 aught. Uh, this is white. And uh, we're going to be uh, weighing this down with some uh, lead eyes. So let's just go ahead and start our thread right here behind the eye. Lay down a little bit of layer of, uh, of thread so that we can uh, get the eyes on there nice and good. Let's cut out the tag end, and we're going to be using uh, this is a size two hook, and I've got some large um, black and yellow uh, lead eyes. Now, if you want to ride point down, you want to put it on the on the bottom of the shank. I want this to ride point up, so I'm going to go ahead and tie in these uh, eyes right here on top. And here's a little trick: do about three wraps with it parallel, and it's going to want to twist on you. Let it twist itself with securing wraps, and we'll figure eight it and do a little bit of an over under, over under, making sure it's on there nice and secure. I probably do too many um, wraps when I'm securing the uh, the lead eyes, but uh, better to be uh, safe than sorry, I guess. And by putting it on the top of the shank here, it should uh, offset the weight of the point and ride with the point up so you can see it's nice and secure check the eyes they're straight and I always put a little bit of a zappa gap or super glue to secure those eyes just a little bit more and just it takes a little bit on top and a little bit on the bottom and that's uh, all you need to secure those eyes so just let it sit in there you can let it dry but I'm just gonna keep tying at this point and because I'm gonna be using a zonker tail I want to secure in uh, some mono and so I've got here some 30 pound uh, mono that I'll just snip off about six eight inches tied in on my side and this isn't gonna be um, any strength bearing or you know any uh, you know we're not putting a stinger hook on it or anything like that it's just to hold the tail to prevent it from fouling now the zonker strip I, I like to use the uh, the magnum uh, strips so it's a little bit wider a little bit beefier um, so we'll uh, go ahead and I usually do these about two lengths of the overall length of the hook so double the length of the overall length and I'll measure where that uh, is going to be tied in on the back and we're going to have to poke that through because we want this riding point up and so I just poke it through on the middle and now I'll just take my uh, hook out and pull that down and reset the, uh, the hook back in kind of a simple process and we're going to be tying it in right here at the, uh, the bend of the hook so pull those uh, the hair the, the back so that we can tie in the hide right here at our tying point where our thread was and sometimes you're gonna get a hot mess but with these magnum strips you want to make sure that that hide wraps around the shank of the hook that we're not you know folding it over or bending it back the other way or you know you could do a lot of uh, skewumpus things there but do a few wraps over it, a few wraps in front of it, and I'll secure this up out of my way just with a hair clip so that uh, it's not in our way as we proceed at this point. Now, the reason I tied in that mono is because I love to do um, these little loops on the back. I basically divide from the point to my tie-in point in half, and I'll poke a hole right in the middle of the hide. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult than others, and work your way around, and don't lose that uh, hole and we'll go ahead and just shove the mono through it and then pull it through and wrap it over to the other side of the hook trying not to trap any hair fibers but we can always get those out later but just tie it in with a few loose wraps and then make sure that we're gonna give it a little tension test here it's gonna be hard to see at this point but uh, we just want to make sure that that uh, loop is not tight so it's pulling the strip but tight snug with a you know a little bit of flexibility so that it holds it in place and prevents fouling when we're casting so that's secure we'll snip out the mono and we're ready to uh, tie in our body and uh, that is uh, pretty much the tail and we're gonna make a little dub loop for the body 
This is going to be a little bit different than uh, most bodies I do because I'm going to add a few different materials and one of those is I want to add some uh, rubber legs here. It's not necessary but I haven't figured out whether the rubber legs help or don't help. I just have been tying them on some of them and we're going to tie in two sets. One here at the back right about where we you know just in front of where we tied in the hide enough to do maybe one or two loops of the body behind it and you know give it a little bit more uh, movement or, or pulsating or whatever um, you want to think it helps to benefit now for the uh, dubbing loop uh, we're going to use a few different materials one is uh, Cohen's uh, carp dub in this kind of a tan color it's basically a dub with a little bit of flash and uh, some light rubber in it and we're going to be using these voodoo fibers and some ripple ice so I've already made this into a dub loop or a composite loop I guess you call it um, you know just stacking all the materials on top of each other and we'll just go ahead and set this into the uh, dub loop so that it uh, but basically I just spread out a good chunk of the uh, the dub uh, the Cohen's dub and then stack some of the voodoo fibers and ripple ice on top of it and we'll put it in and go ahead and start spinning it up making sure that we get those uh, all the f all the materials in there oh snapped off if that ever happens just try to find the end of your uh, thread here and we'll put it in some uh, some hackle pliers and we'll brush it out it's uh, sometimes that happens it slips off but you just gotta save it and keep going and I really like how this uh, these three combinations I'm kinda trying to create this one to be kind of a rainbow bait fish zonker pattern with the uh, lighter belly here using the olive uh, as the darker back color and some highlights of the voodoo fibers in pink but we'll see how it goes it's kind of a experiment this time I, I don't think I've uh, Usually I just uh, put on a, a, you know, like the Cohen's dub or some sort of uh, Arizona semi-seal for the body. And sometimes I throw on those rubber legs, but we're adding some ripple ice, some voodoo fibers, just to complicate it for the video. Now as I'm wrapping this around, we've got a lot of fibers, a lot of materials going every which way. And I'm going to start trying to preen those back as I wrap and uh, making sure that those rubber legs are sticking kind of straight out and I didn't shift them up around too much when wrapping around them. And we're gonna come up right behind the eye and we're gonna tie in um, another set of uh, rubber legs right here, just right behind the eye. And we'll do that. Uh, I just wanna kinda see how this is looking. Just give it a little brush and those are gonna just fan right over. Yeah, this is gonna look nice and money. So many options and so many materials you can use for this body these days. It uh, kind of makes it fun and uh, interesting to experiment and try different things. But we'll go ahead and get these rubber legs right here behind the eye. Just figure eight it a couple of times, making sure that it's in the position and pretty much going the directions that I want. Because as I wrap with the other material... You know, I can manipulate a little much, a little bit, but the, the wraps we just did is key. Now, we want to make sure, because the hide's going to cover um, this top part of this, or I guess the top part right now of the shank, and so we want to make sure we cover up where our eyes are on the bottom side. And so make sure you've got a little bit of dubbing going there, and I'm going to leave a little bit of space here behind the eye to tie in that uh, rabbit strip so that it's nice and secure but I really want to make sure that dub loop is nice and secure so yeah we covered the eyes we're good and let's get that material kind of back off the eye a little bit yeah this is looking good and just a few more wraps and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, pull over our uh, you know our, uh, our zonker strip to complete the uh, the fly and yeah that looks really good I really like how this turned out and I always just tie in over the top of this hair so that we keep as much hair on there as possible because I found that if I uh, strip it off it kind of l makes it almost 
lower profile right there but you know at the beginning so I really like to just trim out this hide and this excess piece and if you uh, don't have this excess piece to work with it makes it a lot more difficult to tie in and so you see we just got a little bit of hide there I'm just gonna cover up now with some wraps and we'll go ahead and just do oh a nice little head here we'll since we're using white thread I might uh, just uh, go ahead and sharpie this up but we'll do a single whip finish to secure all this and we're gonna put a little bit of resin on after but let me see if I can find a, uh, a black sharpie I uh, didn't get one out but we'll see if we got one here nice and handy but I think I got one here in the drawer so we'll just go ahead and color this black uh, this is not the best sharpie to do this with but it'll give you the idea and so just kind of work it into all the grooves and try and get the best coverage as you can usually a, a newer sharpie allows you to do this a little bit easier and we're trying not to get it on any of the you know the material so yeah that did the job it will still fish alright so next step is we're just gonna cover all that thread wraps with a little bit of a flow it's a it's a UV resin that uh, penetrates in it's a little bit of a thin uh, almost well I guess it's more than thin it's uh, you know is thinner than thin if you could say that but I'll allow that to soak in for just a minute and then give it a cure and that is now penetrated in and sealed the deal we've got a little bit of a head on there and look at those fibers and that's just that's a good combination right there so I think it looks pretty much a little bit rainbow-esque so we'll go ahead and brush this out and really make it buggy and you got to be a little bit careful when with the Cohen's uh, carp dub because there are those rubber legs in there and I like to keep as many of those in there as I can and I found when I'm brushing it sometimes my velcro likes to stick on them but really be aggressive with this and just get a ton of that out oh yeah we got the hints of pink going down we got some ripple eyes that is gonna be nice uh, this is a, going to be a awesome pattern, but like I mentioned, like I said earlier, the color combinations are endless. Um, you know, there's so many variations of body materials you can use for this. That's why I'm just saying this is a zonker bait fish. Um, I like that it's hook point up, less snags. Um, should have a little bit of weight to sink down. You got the flowy tail. There you go. Tie some up and fish them. Thanks for watching.